Conditions and if statements. C sharp supports the usual logical conditions from mathematics. Less than, less than or equals to, greater than, greater than or equal to, equal to, and not equal to. You can use these conditions to perform different actions for different decisions. C sharp has the following conditional statements if, else, else if, and switch. This lecture will go over if and else, maybe even else if. Now, the way that we use the if statement is we're going to use the if statement to specify a block of C sharp code to be executed if a condition is true. The way we write it out is if parentheses and within the parentheses, we want to put the condition. Now, a condition could be something as simple as if five uh, is less than 10, that would be true. Another condition would be if five is greater than 10, that's false, however. So we're going to go with less than and then followed by curly brackets to define the actual code block that will be executed if the condition is true. So if five is less than 10, evaluates it true, then everything within these curly brackets right here will execute. Let's just demonstrate that real quick. If five is less than 10, we want to print out five is less than 10. If I run this real quick, it's going to say five is less than 10 because this condition evaluates to true. However, if we switch this around, we see that all this turns gray and it says code is unreachable. That's because the compiler is smart enough to understand that this is this is not true. This code block is not going to run if the if it doesn't meet the condition within the if statement. So if I try to run this real quick, we can see that nothing happens. So let's switch that around again. Now we can also do an else statement. So if this doesn't evaluate to true, then we're going to do something else instead we do so by typing else and then curly brackets so these two are connected so let's do the same thing here if this evaluates to false then we want to say five is greater than 10. So console right line five is greater than 10. now since this expression is always false so this else block is going to get run now five isn't greater than 10 that's obviously false hence why this else block is running and if this doesn't make sense right now, trust me, it will, because we will be going over a user input example, make it more dynamic. And we could put an else if in here and try another statement, but let's do that once we have actual data to test it with. So let's write a program that asks for a user's age. And if the user is above the age of 18, they can use the application. If not, you know, don't let them. Let's write an application that checks for a user's age. And depending on the age, we want to execute different types of code. So if the user is above the age of 18, give them access to the full application. If they're over the age of 16, give them access to only certain parts of the application. Else, if they're under the age of 16, you know, just don't let them access anything. So console write line, please enter your age. We want to store this in what type of variable? Exactly, an int variable. Int my age equals console dot read line. Let's not forget to uh, convert this real quick. Convert to int 32. There we go. Now we're going to have a value within my age. That's going to be an arbitrary number. Whatever the user input. If my age greater or equal to 18. Console write line. Great. You have full, ac oh, full access to the application. Great. Else if my age is less or equal to 16, you only have access to certain parts of the application. Let's add an and operator in here. So if my age is less or equal to 16 and my age is greater than 10. Within this else if statement, it needs to meet both these conditions. My age is less or equal to 16 and my age is equal or greater than 10. So if it meets both these conditions, it's going to execute this code block else if it doesn't meet anything above here we're gonna run into the else statement so if nothing works we're just gonna chuck it in here so if they're under the age of 10 sorry you're not allowed to use this application Oop, application let's try running this real quick please enter your age 20. great you have full access to the application all right let's try 15. you only have access to certain parts of the application okay and let's try, let's say the age of six. Sorry, you're not allowed to use this application. So based on these conditions, it's gonna execute different code blocks. Now the code blocks are these curly brackets right here, followed by the if, else if, or else statement. Also the way that I run the application without the console read line at the end is I press control F5 
that's gonna allow us to do you know whatever and it's not gonna close once it's done executing until we explicitly click enter right so that's pretty much it for if and else and else if statements again i'd highly recommend you to play around with it in order to get it to click fully and once you feel comfortable just go ahead and move on to the next episode switch statements which kind of builds upon the premise of if and else statements right i'll see you then